To perform a full bed bath, I would gather my supplies first. Linens are typically outside of the room, so I'd sanitize my hands and go to the clean utility and get four washcloths, two towels, and a clean gown, unless the resident were going to be putting their clothes on. Then I'd knock on their door. I would wash my hands. Say, good morning, Lee. I'm Myra. I'm your CNA for today. Are you ready to get up? And then I would provide for privacy. I'm going to raise the side rail on the side of the bed that I am not working on to wash his back. We'll have to have him lay on his side. Lee, I'm gonna raise your bed up so it's a little easier for me to work if that's okay. I'm gonna put my gloves on. And the full bed bath will start the same way that the partial bed bath did. I'll ask Lee to test the water, either by placing his hand in the basin or wetting a washcloth and having him check the temperature. I can put all four washcloths into the water. You can put a dry towel on the resident if you'd like to begin. I'll wash the face the same way as the partial bed bath starting inside of the eyes and changing my cloth and washing the rest of the face. No soap on that washcloth so we don't irritate his eyes. I'll gently pat dry. Does everything feel okay, Lee? And I would place the towel underneath his arm to keep the bed dry. Remove the dirty gown from that arm keep them covered. Let me know if you're getting cold. I'll take a washcloth. Get soap all over that washcloth. Wash the arm just like we did in the partial bath. Getting in between the fingers of the hand. And now this time I would wash the entire chest because it's a full bed bath. And I would do that underneath to keep them warm. And then also keeping the covers off of their body so they don't get wet. And I'll leave that soapy washcloth on the side of my basin so we don't get soap in the rinse water. Then I would rinse the chest first since we're holding up those linens. And I can set that there, dry the chest off with this towel that I have underneath the arm. Does everything feel like it's dry? We want to make sure we get under any abdominal folds or skin folds, breast folds, so we avoid that moisture there that might cause a skin irritation. Now rinse the arm. And since this doesn't have soap on it, it can go back into the basin. We're gonna pat that arm dry and being careful to get any skin folds or creases. Okay, does that all feel okay, Lee? All right, I'm gonna cover you back up. Now I'm gonna move to the lower part of the body. So just exposing the leg. Put the towel under the leg. I'll take my soapy washcloth. Now if this is getting a little bit cold, 
I can bring it to the sink and warm it up again. I don't want to put it back in the basin because that will get soap into our rinse water. I'll reapply some soap. And then I'll wash the leg. And if the resin is mobile enough, you can do the back of the legs here. And again, getting in between the toes. I'll put that soapy washcloth on the side of the basin. And then we'll rinse that leg. You staying warm enough? Make sure we get in between the toes again. No soap on this, so it can go back in the basin. Pat dry. Make sure there's no moisture in the skin creases. If the resident is diabetic, you want to be very careful about looking in between the toes. They're more susceptible to infection there. Okay, we'll get you covered back up and take that towel out. I would repeat the same on the other half of the body. And then before I put them on their back, I would perform perineal care. You can watch the other video on perineal care to see how that's performed. But I would do the front side now, and then I would throw those washcloths into the linen bag after I wash and rinse and dry the perineal area in the front. And I would change my gloves and sanitize. New gloves for doing the back side. All right, Lee, now I'm gonna wash your back. So I'm gonna have you scoot over towards me. I'm going to help you with the lift sheet. We have the side rail up there for you to grab onto. So I have the lift sheet. I'm gonna have you scoot towards me on three. One, two, three. And make sure your arm is out here so we don't lie on that. Okay, we're gonna turn on to your left side. One two, three. I'm doing okay. I'm going to adjust your pillow so your face isn't caught there. Keep it covered up. And I'll take my second towel. Lay that down on the bed. Our new washcloth. And then we'll wash the entire back. We're going to keep this bottom covered as long as we can. And then get way underneath on that side, making sure that we get all the skin clean on the back side. I washed the back of his legs um, when he was laying on his back, but if the, your resident is mobile enough, you could wash the back of their legs at this point. Um, and then you can perform the backside perineal care. Again, refer to that video. But once I've done backside perineal care, I'm gonna throw that into the base or into the linen bag. And then I'll take the rinse washcloth. Again, while I'm bathing, I'm always looking for any reddened areas that need to be reported to the nurse. I would rinse the back of the legs if I needed to, and then do the rinse on the peri care. And then make sure everything's dry. All right, would you like any lotion on your back, Lee? Not today? Okay, I will put that in the linen bag, so my hands are dirty because I just finished peri care. So I'm gonna let him roll onto his back and make sure he's comfortable just for the minute. And then I'm gonna take my dirty gloves off and sanitize my hands. Okay. So at this point I would change his gown or put on clothes, whatever he prefers. 
And then I will position him back in bed comfortably. I'll get my dirty linens off of the bed. I would offer lotion, and if I have time, a back massage. Okay, let's adjust your pillow here. Do you feel comfortable, Lee? Okay. Lower the bed. Make sure the bed is locked. Give you your call light here. Lower the side rail. Okay. Open up our curtains. Okay, anything else I can get for you, Lee? All right, we'll see you later. So then I would take my dirty linens, put them in the hamper and then bring my supplies to the sink to wash out and then report any skin conditions to the nurse.